Torsades de points or torsade de points, TDP or simply torsade, S, French, translated as twisting of the points, is a specific type of abnormal heart rhythm that can lead to sudden cardiac death. It is a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia that exhibits distinct characteristics on the electrocardiogram, ECG. It was described by Desertinet in 1966. Prolongation of the QT interval can increase a person's risk of developing this abnormal heart rhythm. Pathophysiology Action potential of cardiac muscles can be broken down into five phases. Phase 0, sodium channels open, resulting in the entrance of Na and into the cells, this results in the depolarization of the cardiac muscles. Phase 1, sodium channels close, this stops depolarization. Potassium channels open, leading to an outward current of K and out of the cells. Phase 2, Potassium channels remain open, outward current of K+, and calcium channels now also open, inward current of Ca++, resulting in a plateau state. Phase 3, calcium channels close, inward Ca++ stops, but potassium channels are still open, outward K and current, this persists until the cells gain back normal polarization, repolarization achieved. Please note that phase 0 lead to a net gain of Na+, while phases 1 to 3 lead to a net loss of K+. This imbalance is corrected by the Na+, slash K+, ADPase channel that pumps K and into the cell and sodium out of the cell, this does not change polarization of the cells, but does restore ionic contents to its initial state. Phase 4, Exciting Triggers, e.g. Sinus Node will cause minor depolarization in the cells, this will result in increasing permeability of sodium channels, which trigger the opening of sodium channels. Repolarization of the cardiomyocytes occurs in phases 1 to 3, and is caused predominantly by the outward movement of potassium ions. In torsades de points, however, the repolarization is prolonged, this can be due to electrolyte disturbances, hypokalemia, hypomagnesemia, hypocalcemia, bradycardia, certain drugs, disopyramide, sodalol, amiodarone, amitriptyline, chlorpromazine, erythromycin, and slash or congenital syndromes, LQT1 LQT4 gene defect. The prolongation of repolarization may result in subsequent activation of an inward depolarization current, known as an early after depolarization, which may promote triggered activity. Reentry, due to a dispersion of refractory periods, is also possible, this is because M cells, found in the mid-myocardial layer, show a more prolonged repolarization phase in response to potassium blockage than other cells. In turn, this produces a zone of functional refractoriness, inability to depolarize, in the mid-myocardial layer. When new action potential is generated, the mid-myocardial layer will remain in a refractory period, but the surrounding tissue will depolarize. As soon as the mid-myocardial layer is no longer in a refractory period, excitation from nearby tissue will cause a retrograde current and a re-entry circuit that will result in a positive chronotropic cycle, leading to tachycardia. Signs and Symptoms most episodes will revert spontaneously to a normal sinus rhythm. If this does not occur, however, possible adverse outcomes include palpitations, dizziness, lightheadedness, during shorter episodes, fainting, during longer episodes, and sudden cardiac death. Causes Common causes for torsades to points include diarrhea, low blood magnesium, and low blood potassium. It is commonly seen in malnourished individuals and chronic alcoholics, due to a deficiency in potassium and slash or magnesium. Certain combinations of drugs resulting in drug interactions can contribute to torsades de points risk. QT prolonging medications such as clarithromycin, levofloxacin, or halopyridol, 
when taken concurrently with cytochrome P450 inhibitors, such as floxidin, cimetidine, or particular foods including grapefruit, can result in higher than normal levels of medications that prolong the QT interval in the bloodstream and therefore increase a person's risk of developing torsades to points. In addition, inherited long QT syndrome significantly increases the risk of episodes of TDP. Medications Knowledge that TDP may occur in patients taking certain prescription drugs has been both a major liability and reason for retirement of these medications from the marketplace. Examples of compounds linked to clinical observations of TDP include amiodaron, fluoroquinolones, methadone, lithium, chloroquine, erythromycin, amphetamine, ephedrine, pseudoephedrine, methylphenidate, and phenothiazines. It has also been shown as a side effect of certain antiarrhythmic medications, such as sotalol, procainamide, and quinidine. The gastrokinetic drug cisapride, propulsid, was withdrawn from the U.S. market in 2000 after it was linked to deaths caused by long QT syndrome-induced torsades to points. In many cases, this effect can be directly linked to QT prolongation mediated predominantly by inhibition of the HERG channel. In September 2011, subsequently updated in March 2012 and February 2013, the FDA issued a warning concerning increased incidence of QT prolongation in patients prescribed doses of the antidepressant Alexa, Cytolopram, above 40 mg per day considered the maximum allowable dosage, thereby increasing the risk of torsades. However, a study, evaluation of the FDA warning against prescribing cytolopram at doses exceeding 40 mg, reported no increased risk of abnormal arrhythmias, thus questioning the validity of the FDA's warning. Risk Factors the following is a list of factors associated with an increased tendency towards developing torsades to points. Hypokalemia, low blood potassium. Hypomagnesemia, low blood magnesium. Hypocalcemia, low blood calcium. Bradycardia, slow heartbeat. Heart failure. Left ventricular hypertrophy. Hypothermia. Subarachnoid hemorrhage Hypothyroidism Diagnosis The ECG tracing in torsades demonstrates a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia with a characteristic illusion of a twisting of the QRS complex around the isoelectric baseline, peaks, which are at first pointing up, appear to be pointing down for subsequent beats when looking at ECG traces of the heartbeat. It is hemodynamically unstable and causes a sudden drop in arterial blood pressure, leading to dizziness and fainting. Depending on their cause, most individual episodes of torsades to points revert to normal sinus rhythm within a few seconds, however, episodes may also persist and possibly degenerate into ventricular fibrillation, leading to sudden death in the absence of prompt medical intervention. Torsades de points is associated with long QT syndrome, a condition whereby prolonged QT intervals are visible on an ECG. Long QT intervals predispose the patient to an R on T phenomenon, wherein the R wave, representing ventricular depolarization, occurs during the relative refractory period at the end of repolarization, represented by the latter half of the T wave. An R on T can initiate torsades. Sometimes, pathologic TU waves may be seen in the ECG before the initiation of torsades. A short coupled variant of torsade de points, which presents without long QT syndrome, was also described in 1994 as having the following characteristics. Drastic rotation of the heart's electrical axis. Prolonged QT interval, LQTS may not be present in the short-coupled variant of torsade de points. Preceded by long and short RR intervals, not present in the short-coupled variant of torsade de points. Triggered by a premature ventricular contraction, R on T PVC. Treatment 
Treatment is directed towards the withdrawal of the offending agent, infusion of magnesium sulfate, antiarrhythmic drugs, and electrical therapy, such as a temporary pacemaker, as needed. Because of the polymorphic nature of torsades de points, synchronized cardioversion may not be possible, and the patient may require an unsynchronized shock, or defibrillation. History The phenomenon was originally described in a French medical journal by Desertinet in 1966, when he observed this cardiac rhythm disorder in an 80-year-old female patient with complete intermittent atrioventricular block. In coining the term, he referred his colleagues to the Dictionnaire L.E. Robert, a bilingual French-English dictionary, of which his wife had just given him a copy. Here, torsade is defined as a bundle of threads, twisted in a helix or spiral, for ornamental purposes, such as in an Aran sweater. Long hair twisted together. An ornamental motif, as seen on architectural columns. Terminology The singular and plural forms, torsade de points and torsades de points, have both often been used. The question of whether either one is grammatically correct and the other incorrect has repeatedly arisen. This is seen among major medical dictionaries, where one enters only the plural form, another enters the plural form as the headword but lists the singular as a variant, and yet another enters the singular form as the headword and gives a usage comment saying that the plural is not preferred. One group of physicians has suggested that it would make the most sense to use the singular form to refer to the arrhythmia entity, where an arrhythmia may involve one or multiple episodes, and that one might best reserve the plural form for describing repeated twisting during a single episode. Regarding the natural language variation, they concluded, in good nature, wasn't it the French who coined the term vive la difference? Please subscribe and thanks for watching.